Hi everyone, I'm Jeremy and it's time for another Rivet how-to video. We are continuing our mini-series of SRT Basics, where we take you through the Rivet stream settings to learn more about Rivet and SRT. You can check out our last one where we started with the IP address. Today, we are learning about the port number. As you can see right here, this is the next thing I need to put in, and I'll admit that this is the one we get the most questions about, but it's also a little bit difficult to explain. Let's say that your public IP address is like a phone number, and we already found that number in the last step. That IP address is where the SRT stream will start, but in this analogy, the port number is like a required extension, and a port is where a stream actually goes through. Any sort of data passing back and forth between the internet uses a port. For example, web traffic uses ports 80 and 443. We need to open up a port to traffic so that our decoder can receive the SRT stream. Now up front, I'll say that figuring out the port number to use is not something I can just give you step-by-step -step instructions for because ports are blocked and opened by network firewalls and you shouldn't let me tell you how to configure your firewall. However, I can give you the tools you need to start. There are three network scenarios I'll cover. And the first is if your decoder is inside a large organization's network. In this case, you'll need to work with your IT administrator to open up a port to use for SRT. For example, if you're at a school, bank, government and organization, honestly, most responsible secure organizations, you'll have a system-wide network firewall. Ask your IT administrator to open up port forwarding to the IP address of your decoder on an available port. I like to shoot for the 8,000s or 10,000s range to be safe, but they should know what's best. Now, for the second scenario, maybe you're a DIYer who technical directs on your own network. And in this case, it's obviously a pretty different situation. Maybe your router or network switch has no firewall enabled. Now, this isn't very secure, honestly, but it makes this scenario really much easier to set up. We'll just need to pick a port number and go with it. Try a higher number like 8004, or 8040, or 10001. Both of these are extremely unlikely to have anything using those ports, but just pick a high number and you're likely going to be okay. It's important to note that for every subsequent stream, you need to go up a number. Pick the number you start with and count up from there. For example, if my first stream was 10001, I would go 10002, 10003, and so on because, and this is important, you can only have one SRT stream incoming or outgoing per port. And the third scenario is if you have a firewall enabled, and in this case, you'll need to set up port forwarding on your router. And this is when I really can't give you a step-by-step -step instruction because every router's control software is quite different. So look into the documentation on your router to find out how to do this. First, I'm going to need to find the local IP address of my software decoder. I'm going to go to the command line on Windows, opening up command prompt, and I'm going to type in IP config and hit enter. It will give me an IPv4 address, and this is the number I'm looking for for the port forward. Alternatively, on a Mac, I'll go to my system preferences, go to my network, I will select the network that I'm currently using and go to advanced, and then I will go to the IP TCP tab, and this is where I find the IPv4 address. So you'll need this number, and on your router's firewall, forward incoming and outgoing UDP traffic for your chosen port range. For my example, I chose ports 10,000 to 10,010. On the firewall, forward this traffic to the same port range on the local IP address of your decoder. For my example, I would forward UDP ports 10,000 to 10,010 of my public IP to ports 10,000 to 10,010 of the local IP of the decoder. Once you've done this, you're now ready to pick a port from your open range and put it into Rivet. So in my case, I will put 10,001. I don't know why, that's just my favorite to use. 
Please leave a like if this helped you. Uh, we really appreciate it. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. If you wanna talk about Rivet or SRT, consider joining our Rivet Slack channel. We have a good time there and the link is in the description. Thanks for watching and happy broadcasting. Thank you.